If you recently replaced the crankshaft or camshaft position sensor, and your vehicle is now having issues, in this video, I'll go over common causes and potential fixes. Two typical problems that can show up after replacing one of these sensors are that the engine won't start or it runs rough. Here are some things to check. Relearn procedure. The first thing to consider is whether your vehicle requires a reset or relearn procedure. This varies from one vehicle to another. Some vehicles will run just fine after installing a new sensor, while others may run poorly, or not at all, until the system properly relearns the sensor. In many cases, simply driving the vehicle is enough for the ECU to relearn the sensor. More advanced OBD2 scan tools often have a dedicated relearn function built in, but most people don't have access to these. There are also manual relearn procedures for certain vehicles. The best way to find out if your vehicle requires one is to look it up online, search for your specific make, model, and year. For example, on some forums, you'll find that a 2009 Chevy Trailblazer has a specific series of steps for the crankshaft position sensor relearn process. So again, it really depends on your vehicle. In many cases, it will relearn on its own over time, but doing a bit of research can save you a lot of troubleshooting down the road. Damaged wiring. The next thing to check is the wiring because it's not uncommon for wiring to get damaged during installation. These small electrical connectors can be a bit finicky. Sometimes a wire doesn't seat properly or one gets pulled loose without you noticing. So take a close look at the wiring going to the sensor. Ensure that all pins are fully inserted, none are bent or broken, and the plug is firmly connected. Blown fuse. Also, be sure to check for a blown fuse. It's common for a fuse to blow during sensor replacement, especially if the wiring was tested or accidentally shorted. You'll need to look up which fuse corresponds to the crank or camshaft sensor on your specific vehicle. Then check the fuse box to make sure none are blown. Faulty sensor. Another common issue is that the aftermarket sensor itself is faulty and just doesn't work properly. Low-cost sensors, especially those bought from places like eBay or off-brand sellers, can sometimes be defective right out of the box. I've run into ones that caused a lot of unnecessary frustration. So if everything else checks out, keep in mind the sensor itself might be the problem. Sensor pairing. Another thing that can happen, though it's less common, is that you might need to replace both the crankshaft and camshaft position sensors together, using all new sensors from the same manufacturer. It might sound odd, but sometimes if you replace just one sensor, it won't work properly with the other, causing timing issues or other problems. In these cases, the only fix is to replace all the sensors at once with matching new ones from the same brand. So, while this isn't typical, it's something to keep in mind. Improper installation. Lastly, there's the possibility that the sensor wasn't installed in the correct position. In most cases, sensors are designed to only fit one way, with a locking tab or notch to guide proper placement. But on some vehicles, it's still possible to get them slightly misaligned. Even a small difference in angle or depth can throw off the reading and cause performance problems. So it's worth double checking the installation to make sure the sensor is fully seated and properly aligned. A small misalignment might be all it takes to keep your engine from running right. And that's basically it. If you have anything to add, please drop a comment below. If this video was helpful, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and have a great day.